What's up, bitches? Camvella here. We are back in Killer Love. I can't quite remember what happened last time. <laughs> All I know is that we have a Yandere up our ass. She's a nurse. She broke our legs. And she's been harassing us and has our girlfriend. My girlfriend? Our girlfriend? Is it our girlfriend? I don't know. Okay. Can't just sit here waiting. I've gotta wait. And I will. But I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing and it's eating me up. If a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? Yes, actually, I did know that. I know that. If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. You don't say, motherfucker. You don't say. I'm gonna write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turd. <laughs> Why is that funny? Hold on. My head. My head, it itches. Oh my god, my head itches. Holy shit. Oh my god. You know, we might just say fuck the hat. Because my head's just so fucking itchy right now. Alright. Uh, yeah, turd. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly, my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. My nose is already filling up with goo. So here goes. Everything. <laughs> oh, we're actually getting a backstory. I met Anna, met her against, again after so many years, in the store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. The first time she came in, I was at the cash register. I was about to say the cashier register. Eh? <laughs> She walked straight up to me, cutting in line. An old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there a while, staring at me, like she fucking does, because she's a creepy-ass bitch. Then she said, No. No, I can't do this. I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. We're going to start with Grace. Someone I miss. Grace. Alright, baby. Whatever you say. Oh, hello, honey. Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. You hated Grace? <laughs> Compared to the other bitch you've been involved with, motherfucker? What the fuck? I hated most people. Well, I don't... I, I don't blame you. <laughs> and most things. I was a real asshole. Yeah, you still kinda are. <laughs> I didn't spend time with, her, with other people. I didn't uh, spend time with other people. Whenever a co-worker invited me somewhere... I'd turn them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. God, you sound like me. <laughs> it was just how I was. How I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She still tried to talk to me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we still ended up working together 
together, together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long-haired man while Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. God damn it! I waited for her to leave. Um, Don? Oh, wait. I should probably make a, a very soft-sounding voice. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> um, Don? Can... You can switch with me, alright? You can go help Susie. I already did the bathroom shelves there. Don, the old man, thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. I had to say something. I'm fine on my own. Hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh, no, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't you take a hint? I thought then. It's, um... It's his back, you know. What? Don's back hurts a lot. So I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves, so... I get it. I didn't... do it to bother you, I swear. I said I got it. Okay. <clears throat> We went on right <laughs> restocking in silence for about another minute. Um I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was um bothering you on purpose. I'm sorry. I sighed. Ugh. Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I don't really care about other people. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> if I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. So, you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not good at these. I'm not very good at very soft voices. I mean, I could do it like this, but that's a little creepy. Oh. Anyway, we didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. <coughs> She'll leave me alone, I thought, now that she knows I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I've always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have, though. For her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. Okay. Writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled, giving me courage. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. The weather was nice out today. The sky was blue. There is a tiny window on the wall to my left. I can look through it if I twist my head around. That small patch of sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That and my memories of her. Uh. Hi, Jack. Hi. A beautiful morning, isn't it? 
Let's give it our all today. Yep, let's do that. Um, your uniform is kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I haven't gotten around, or I haven't gotten iron, so... Jeez, you're really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far. I could iron your clothes for you, if you said pretty, please. God damn it. All right, microphone, you're kind of in my way a little bit. August 8th. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more. And th thinking. And thinking? Talking to me more and more. Ah, la la la. It was a gradual thing. Just hello and goodbye. And how are you doing at first? Eventually, they grew a f to a full conversation. Well, I say c full conversations. They were still pretty bare bones. Bare boner. <laughs> I noticed how friendly she was being, of course, but I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. <clears throat> hey, Jack! There's this bar just down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. So, uh, how about we go there after work today? To relax. And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying, sure. Aww. 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 He's so cute. He's so cute. Hold on, Grace. I got a drink. Um, and then. How do you like it here? Is it nice? It's alright, I guess. I don't really know, honestly. I don't go out to places like this. <clears throat> God damn. Oh, well. I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it'd be fun, you know? Grace ordered Jack... Ordered a Jack and Coke. <laughs> I didn't know what to get, so I asked for one, too. I don't really like Jack and Cokes. Ugh. Our drinks came quickly. They were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. The waitress had giggled while taking my order, and I took it as an insult, or it was something else just as dumb. I can't remember exactly. Ah. Feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? I grumbled. <laughs> what is it, Jack? Nothing. I sipped my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean, all of this. I just started everything around us. I just did that too. <laughs> Doing things with people. Huh? Why? <sighs> you wouldn't get it even if I explained. We're just too different. I've had it rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I... Uh, well... It would be a shame to not do fun things just because of that. No, what I'm saying is it's just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely been here for ten minutes. Jack, I 110% fucking... I... Yes, bitch! 
You're like my goddamn spirit. We interrupt this program to bring you begging section. Remember to like, subscribe, and I guess fucking comment something. And I'll fucking eat this rock. I will eat this rock. And poop it out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad at the begging section. Peace, bitchy. I don't know. <laughs> Spirit or animal? Animal. Holy shit. I just know. She didn't see him happy that I said that. So, you want to leave? Um, I haven't actually thought of leaving. I just complain to complain. Well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes. Damn, this bitch is fire! If you keep going like this, you're never going to have any fun in life. So promise me you'll at least give being with me a chance. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please? Uh, fine. I can do an hour. Thank you. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. Hold up. The thing is, okay, the thing is, I will go out with people for a limited amount of time because that's what they enjoy to do. I don't necessarily enjoy it, <clears throat> but I do it because it's being with someone I care about. But, just because I don't like doing those things that other people in my life enjoy doing, does not mean that I don't have fun. Okay, I have my own personal opinions on fun. So me going out drinking at a bar and shit... No, I don't enjoy that. I would prefer to never have to do that. But if someone I care about asks me to, sure, I'll go for half an hour or more, depending. But don't fucking tell me I can't have fun doing the shit that I consider fun and making me go to fucking something you consider fun. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm not going to bitch about this anymore. Uh, it seems like such a long time. There was a clock on the wall opposite of me. I was going to stare at it for a whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then, when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then, something happened. What happened? Grace was having trouble. I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering, st struggling to find stuff to talk about. <clears throat> I realized it was because I was just sitting there barely saying anything. I was acting all grumpy too. That couldn't have helped. Back in the store, with so many distractions around us, it had been easy for her to chat with me every so often. A few words here and there. I hadn't had to do much back then besides nod. Sitting down, talking face to face, it simply couldn't work like that. Fam, I understand this struggle so much. <laughs> After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She sat there, looking at her drink instead of at me. 
She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. In just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found it couldn't. I found I couldn't stand that, so I started talking. I said the first thing that came to my mind, no matter how stupid. I don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me, both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter, or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace, or maybe it was the alcohol. I don't know. Maybe it was both. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now I found I could relax it, little by little, by little. And before I knew it, I really was having fun in this girl's presence. Talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. Oh, What did we talk about? I don't remember. What I do remember is that I had more fun than I'd had in years. When the hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for... We stayed there for hours longer. <clears throat> I do remember one thing we talked about, actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. What's your family like, Jack? Uh, I... I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. I'm kind of, um... Not on speaking terms with my family, either. Why is that? That's, um... Actually, I don't really talk with other people all that much. Or hang out with them. Well, outside of work. I'm kind of... Alone, a lot of the time. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. That surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're so friendly with other people at the store. That's all it is. It's not that I wouldn't like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're gonna turn out... not nice. But you're different. You're just trying to get by. I don't think you'd use someone. God, when I say it like that, it doesn't sound right at all. You must think I'm really weird. I'm sorry. No, don't... <laughs> don't think you are. It makes sense, what you said. Really? Thank you, Jack. I really, really hoped you'd understand, and I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you're someone I can trust. Aww. 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 This is so cute. We went for drinks again next week, and then once more the week after. The week after that, we had dinner together at a greasy little restaurant where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. <laughs> I'd never had wine. It was disgusting, but I had guessed it would be disgusting. So I forced my way through the through a glass anyway. There's sp there's one specific type of wine I like. It's St. James winery. The really cheap stuff. It's like $3 a bottle. I can drink a whole bottle and I just get fucked. <laughs> but it tastes good! Even I said it was delicious. Then Grace tried some. Told me it was spoiled. Ha! <laughs> yeah, dumb fucker. She 
teased the hell out of me after that. It wasn't bitter about it. I laughed along. Strange how quickly people can change sometimes. Soon we started going out more often. To bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. We took a lot of walks together, too. And one time, we even went to the movies. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my girlfriend. Aww. What? I'm... Am I not your girlfriend already? <laughs> uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could be that clueless. Oh. And that's how it went. August 9th. A few weeks later, a few weeks however, a few weeks later, she told me what happened to her back when she was still when she still lived with her family. What happened to her back. Okay. <sighs> I know for a while that something had happened, something she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me what it was, a few of the things she said no, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? Yeah. I had never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out, I felt crushed. That's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you I had it rough, fuck. No, it's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You've got your troubles, and I've got mine. I know, but fuck. Can't we do something? There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. You know? <clears throat> I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her, keep her safe forever, and I'd mend it. <sighs> and I failed her. But that comes later. For now, I figured I should tell her what my own troubles had been. Um... You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I do want to. I'd managed to keep quiet about my past. I'd only alluded to things. Now I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. What? Nothing? You don't remember anything? Okay, it's not exactly nothing. But my teen years are fuzzy. And everything before that, it's like it doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know. Maybe I had one? I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. Oh, Jack. I'll tell you about those times if you want, but there's not a lot to tell. Nothing really ever happened to me. Uh-huh. I wish I could tell you everything about my life. I really do, but I can't. That's fine. Mm. Did you ever find out? Or did you ever try to find out? About my life before then? Yeah. I didn't. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I just never felt like it, I guess. Y you must have known, even back then, that some memories are best left buried. I'm sure I would like to remember, if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yep. Well, okay. 
Tell me about the times you can remember then. <clears throat> so I went on to tell her all about the few bland memories I had. Chapter 3 already! Well, shit. We are going to save. Guess we'll save there. Alright! That was... That was kind of sweet. I like that. I like that chapter. That was really nice. I am original... I am... I am this character. I am the main character of the story. Yes, my name is Jack. Hello, everybody. My name is Jack Septicari. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. I'm so fucking tired. Anyway. Not much to say about this episode. Other than the fact that it was really cute and sweet. And I really like Grace. She's really pretty. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. 